Let's start with Denise Beliveau. She just reached the 1,000 career point milestone. How exciting is that? It's great. I mean, Denise overall has had a tremendous career, and um, you know, of course, if you ask her, she wishes she could have done it when we won. Um, but you know, I think every game she goes out there, she gives it all, her all. And um, you know, considering what being able to have her for a fifth year, going into my second year, um, you know, she's just wonderful, great. She's coachable. She's just a great kid. What makes her such a strong player? I think her versatility, going inside and out. Um, I think just when I've got, you know, since I've taken over, I've kind of asked her to go inside a little bit more. And um, when I first asked her to do that, she looked at me like I was crazy. But um, I think just her versatility, being able to pull out the post defenders, her ability to step out and shoot, and just her toughness, her overall toughness, her rebounding skills. Now, last season, she led the team in rebounds and points, all sorts of categories. Have you seen her grow any more from last year to this year? Yeah, I think, you know, just the amount of minutes that she plays, I think every game kind of she brings into her own, whether it's, you know, being able to take the last second shot or being able to, to make, you know, have more assists during the game. Um, her defense has definitely stepped up this year. So, you know, there's still a lot of room to improve and I'm sure she will. Now, Kerry Reed also has something exciting, hitting 32 points in one game versus Harvard. What makes her such a strong player? She's just one of the best pure shooters that I've ever coached. Um, just her quick release. I mean, it's amazing. Some of the shots that she took, I, you know, on the sideline, the Harvard coach is going crazy. And I mean, the defenders were right there. Every shot that she took, somebody was right in her face. Um, but, you know, and I think when she's feeling it and she's on, she usually never misses. So hopefully we'll get her some more, you know, more shots and more touches in the next couple games. And you're facing Manhattan next. What are you, what are you doing to prepare? Uh, Manhattan, you know, it's tough. They play a lot of 1-3-1 defense, um, zone defense, which is something that we haven't really faced a lot this year. So today we've really been working on moving the ball, getting it inside out, and then hopefully if um, our shooters are on, if Carrie can shoot the way she did the other night, um, hopefully we'll be in good shape. Who are some other players you feel have really been contributing to the team? Some of our freshmen have stepped up. Uh, Ariel Gaston has had to come in and, and start from the day she got here just because Lauren Wells is still injured. Um, you know, other kids off the bench, Bridget McKnight's been playing well. Sarah Frankenberger has been playing a lot of minutes for us. Um, she's had to play inside a lot more, uh, again, just because we don't really have that much size yet. Um, you know, Kelly Flynn's coming back from injury uh, as well. Hey, this is only your second year here. You are one of the youngest coaches in the conference. What do you like best about playing here? You know, it's, it's just such a great institution. Uh, academically, it's, it's great. I mean, recruiting makes it a lot, a lot easier when it's a great um, school academically. We're in a great conference in the America East. And, um, you know, it's just uh, overall, it's just a great place. And, and you know, everybody, everybody's supportive. And, um, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time. But, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with where we're at going into my second year. So talk about the success that you've had away games. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of a, a nice surprise. Um, Eric, our Sports Info, reminded me the other day that we have more road wins than we did all of last year, and we've won three, three games. So, um, you know, for whatever reason, the girls are comfortable on the road. Um, hopefully we'll be able to pick one up uh, at home, I hope, tomorrow. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll find a nice balance between being on the road and being at home. Talk about the culture of UNH Athletics. It's very strong. Absolutely. I mean, you look in the stands even last night and you see Coach Mack and, you know, Coach Millie will call me after a good win and, uh, you know, Coach Harrion and every, everybody's very supportive. Um, Marty Scarano is, you know, our number one fan. So we just can, can you know, hopefully continue to improve and, and hopefully the W's will come with that, along with that.